Hello everyone. Welcome to Current Affairs MCQs program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. The question was recently seen in the news, the Adi Mahotsav is an initiative of which of the following? National Scheduled Tribes Finance and Development Corporation, Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, or International Work Group. The correct answer is option B, Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India. Today, the Union Minister for Tribal Affairs, Shri Arjun Munda, inaugurated the Adi Mahotsav, the National Tribal Festival at Ahmedabad, Gujarat. The mega event is being organized by the Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India Limited, Ministry of Tribal Affairs, from 25th October to 3rd November 2023 at Ahmedabad Hat, Vastrapur. The Adi Mahotsav serves as a unique symbiotic bridge to embark on a journey through the tapestry of India's indigenous heritage. In this event, a total of over 100 stalls would showcase the kaleidoscope of India's tribal culture, craftsmanship, culinary artistry, and economic endeavors. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, which of the given statement is true about nano-urea, a type of fertilizer designed for increasing efficiency in farming, a revolutionary material used in space industry, a brand of nano-sized pencils, or a rare gemstone found in deep sea mines. The correct answer is option A, a type of fertilizer designed for increasing efficiency in farming. Nano urea is a type of fertilizer that has been developed using nanotechnology. It is designed to address some of the challenges associated with traditional urea fertilizers used in agriculture. Nano urea is made up of urea nanoparticles. These nanoparticles are significantly smaller than the urea granules found in conventional urea fertilizers. Nano urea offers several advantages in agriculture. It releases nutrients gradually, which reduces nutrient loss and makes them available to crops over an extended period. It can potentially reduce nitrogen runoff and leaching, which are major contributors to water pollution. When used appropriately, it can lead to improved crop yields. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The next question is Which of the following represents the correct hierarchy in the Indian Air Force? A. Air Chief Marshal, Air Marshal, Air Commodore, Group Captain, Wing Commander. B. Air Chief Marshal, Air Commodore, Air Marshal, Group Captain, Wing Commander. C. Air Marshal, Air Chief Marshal, Air Commodore, Wing Commander, Group Captain. D. Air Chief Marshal, Air Marshal, Group Captain, Wing Commander, Air Commodore. The correct answer is option A. Air Chief Marshal, Air Marshal, Air Commodore, Group Captain, Wing Commander. Air Chief Marshal. The highest ranking officer in the Indian Air Force is the Air Chief Marshal. This individual serves as the Chief of the Air Staff and is responsible for overseeing the entire Air Force and its operations. Air Marshal The Air Marshal is the second highest rank in the Indian Air Force. They hold critical positions and are responsible for specific areas of operation and command. Air Commodore Air Commodores are senior officers who are responsible for overseeing specific wings or groups within the Indian Air Force. Group Captain Group captains are senior officers responsible for commanding squadrons and ensuring the operational readiness of their units. Wing Commander Wing commanders are senior flying officers responsible for managing and commanding specific squadrons, wings or units. They play a crucial role in mission planning and execution. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements about gene editing. CRISPR Cas9 is a popular and versatile tool for gene editing. 2. Gene editing allows precise modification of DNA sequences in living organisms. 3. Gene editing has potential applications in treating genetic diseases. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. The CRISPR Cas9 system is a revolutionary gene editing tool that has gained immense significance in the field of biotechnology and genetics. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Its primary function is to cut DNA at specific target sequences. Hence, statement 2 is correct. CRISPR, that is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, are segments of DNA that contain short repetitive base sequences. When a specific target sequence is identified within a DNA molecule, the CRISPR Cas9 system can be programmed to guide Cas9 to that precise location. Gene editing could potentially decrease or even eliminate the incidence of many serious genetic diseases 
Hence, statement third is correct. This ability to precisely cut and edit DNA makes CRI-SPR Cas9 a powerful tool for genetic research, therapy, and engineering. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is: Consider the following statements regarding India's Dam Safety Act. India's Dam Safety Act 2019 aims to provide a legal framework for the surveillance, inspection, and maintenance of dams to prevent potential failures. Two. The act establishes the National Dam Safety Authority and state dam safety organizations to ensure the safety of dams in India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? The correct answer is option C, both one and two. India's Dam Safety Act enacted in 2019 is a significant legislation aimed at ensuring the safety of dams across the country. The primary objective of the Dam Safety Act is to provide a legal and institutional framework for the surveillance, inspection, operation, and maintenance of dams to prevent disasters. Hence, statement one is correct. The Act establishes the National Dam Safety Authority, a central regulatory authority responsible for the overall supervision and control of the operation and maintenance of specified dams in India. Hence, statement two is correct. Each state is required to establish a state dam safety organization to assist the NDSA in implementing the provisions of the act. It mandates periodic safety inspections, comprehensive safety evaluations, and the preparation of an emergency action plan for high and significant hazard dams. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. The next question is: Consider the following statements about TriFed, Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India. TriFed is a national level organization focused on promoting tribal handicrafts and forest produce. Two, it was established in 1987. Three, it plays a pivotal role in the implementation of government schemes. Four, this organization collaborates with tribal cooperatives and NGOs. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, only three, or all four? The correct answer is option D. All four. Trifed or the Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India is a national level organization focused on promoting tribal handicrafts and forest produce. Hence, statement one is correct. It was established in 1987 to provide a platform for tribal artisans and forest dwellers to market their products and enhance their income. Hence, statement two is correct. Trifed plays a pivotal role in the implementation of government schemes like the One Dhan Yojana to empower tribal communities economically. Hence, statement three is correct. This organization collaborates with tribal cooperatives, NGOs, and government agencies to facilitate the sustainable development of tribal communities across India. Hence, statement four is correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is: Which of the following best describes osprey? A type of fish, a military aircraft, a predatory bird, or a programming language? The correct answer is option C: a predatory bird. The osprey is a large fish-eating bird of prey known for its striking appearance with a white head and a dark eye stripe. Ospreys are found on every continent except Antarctica and are particularly skilled at hunting fish from freshwater and saltwater habitats. They have a reversible outer toe which allows them to hold on to slippery fish with two toes in front and two toes behind, enhancing their fishing capabilities. Ospreys are migratory birds with some individuals traveling thousands of miles between breeding and wintering grounds. Conservation efforts have helped increase osprey populations in many regions, making them a conservation success story. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. The next question is: What does the air quality index measure? Temperature and humidity, levels of carbon dioxide, air pollution, wind speed and direction. The correct answer is option C: air pollution. The air quality index is a numerical scale used to communicate the level of air pollution in a specific area and its potential impact on public health. It takes into account various air pollutants such as particulate matter, ground level ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. Thus, it also provides a standardized way to inform the public about air quality and its associated health risk. The AQI helps individuals make informed decision about outdoor activities. For example, on days with a high AQI, it is recommended to reduce strenuous activities, especially for sensitive groups, and to stay indoors when possible. The AQI is a valuable tool for assessing and addressing air pollution in urban areas, helping to protect public health and the environment. 
Therefore, option C is the correct answer. The next question is, which of the following best describes the preventive detention in the context of Indian polity? A measure to detain individuals suspected of a crime before trial, a legal provision to protect the rights of accused persons, a mechanism for rehabilitation of convicted offenders, or a process for securing a person's release from custody. The correct answer is option A, a measure to detain individuals suspected of a crime before trial. Preventive detention is a measure to detain individuals suspected of a crime before trial. It is governed by Article 22 of the Constitution of India, which outlines the safeguards against detention without trial. Preventive detention is permissible for a limited period under Indian law. An individual detained under preventive detention has the right to be represented by a legal counsel. This is to ensure that their interests are protected during the detention process. The judiciary plays a vital role in ensuring the legality of preventive detention. Individuals subjected to preventive detention can challenge the detention order in the courts. These provisions in the Constitution of India are designed to strike a balance between the state's interest in maintaining public order and individual rights and liberties. Therefore, Option A is the correct answer. The next question is, which of the following organizations release Global Gender Gap Index? World Economic Forum, World Bank, Asian Development Bank or none of the above? The correct answer is option A, World Economic Forum. The Global Gender Gap Index is an annual report published by the World Economic Forum which measures the gender-based disparities in various aspects of life. It evaluates gender equality in four key areas economic participation and opportunity, educational attainment, health and survival, and political empowerment. The index provides a ranking of countries based on their progress in closing the gender gap, with Iceland often topping the list for its high level of gender equality. Disparities in income, workforce participation, and representation in leadership roles are key factors assessed in the economic participation and opportunity category. The Global Gender Gap Index is a valuable tool for assessing and monitoring global progress in achieving gender equality and promoting gender-inclusive policies and practices. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Last question is, what is the significance of neutrinos in astrophysics and cosmology? Neutrinos are the primary source of light from stars. Neutrinos are responsible for dark matter in the universe. Neutrinos helps us understand the internal structure of black holes or neutrinos provide insights into the early universe? The correct answer is option D. Neutrinos provide insights into the early universe. A neutrino is a type of subatomic particle with no electric charge and very little mass. They are fundamental particles in the standard model of particle physics. Neutrinos provide insights into the early universe and are a key component of the cosmic neutrino background. They are significant in understanding the Big Bang and the structure of the universe. Neutrinos are not the primary source of light from stars and they are not responsible for dark matter. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. The question is, which of the following best describes the word US bond yield? The interest rate at which the US government sells bonds to foreign countries? The profit earned by the Federal Reserve through the issuance of treasury bonds? the percentage return on an investment in U.S. government bonds or the total face value of U.S. bonds in circulation. Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.